Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson, and uh, I just get everybody set on the right mindset to throw far. And one of the things that, um, you know, as we go into training, as I we look back and over the holiday, I have uh, athletes that come in from their college programs, and so alum, alums come in and they want to do some training. And, um, and then we have our high school group, and the key thing that really makes most of my successful athletes the most successful is that they control frustration. And so as we go into setting up, there's a lot of things, of course, we talk about. We talk about the throwing chain reaction. We talk about our six pillars of the throw, and, we, and we're really focused on mechanics and positions and angles and all these different things, and all of that is super critical. But a lot of times, one of the things that is really, very, uh, really critical for producing the most success in the shortest period of time is the right mindset. Mindset is such a, a, a critical part of um, being a successful thrower or a successful throws coach. Um, there's so many mental variables. So for instance, this past over the break, we had some athletes come in and they're trying to hit some positions and they're getting frustrated. And then they're spending their time focusing on the frustration. Now, I've talked about this in our uh, weekly tips and I've um, talked about that on um, you know <clears throat> various different things. but. It's super critical, and I can't emphasize it enough. You know, every year we touch base on it. So here is an athlete comes in, gets frustrated, get the athlete pulled back, and get their mental focus, and then the workout starts to improve. So the more you f huff and puff and kick and you know do some of this stuff. Listen, I get it that you're human, and there's going to be frustrating moments as a thrower or as a coach and how you contain and control that. The key is, is if you feel that frustration, it's good to, to get it, get it done, kick it out and, and move on. Um, one of my great friends and mentor, Tony Shirelli, he's a big Zen guy and he always says, hey, once something happens, it's in the past, you can't do anything about it, so you gotta move forward. And that, that's one of those little tips that's always stuck with me. Um, and it's so true and it's, it's super difficult to do sometimes, but I'm telling you right now, the more you dwell on a bad throw or a bad couple of throws or a bad series of throws, um, the more you think about it, the more it's gonna impact the next throws that you're gonna wanna take. And that's what you gotta learn to do. So when you have a bad throw, chalk it off. Um, understand that when you're applying new technique, there's always a timing variable. So sometimes you're gonna uh, hit some really good technical positions, but the timing's off, so it won't necessarily translate to big distance. But you got so you got to pay attention to, hey, that was actually a better throw, even though it didn't go further. That was what I want to be doing, and within so many throws, it'll start to click in. And the key is, is if you focus on, ah, damn it, that wasn't good. It didn't go as far. Um, you're going to notice how that's going to have a negative impact on your progress. So as you go into that 2018 or the next year or whatever, if you watch this video in the future and it's up and it's 2019 or 2020, just remember, um, don't get frustrated. And when you do, let it go, move on, and you will be so happy that you did. Progress happens so much faster. You're focusing, you're letting go of the, of the negative focus and you're focusing on what you're doing right here right now and that's how you're going to always throw far so best of luck always keep that open mind and hey and if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe and visit airtaythrowsnation.com for more information and uh, we'll see you in the future in the next videos